Mo to. Ay gana kam. Kam ana gana sun. Listen. What's that mean? Oh. Yeah, I want to give you some words of life. Some wisdom, understanding, and some knowledge. Hey. Your Maori, eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, well. You've never, gone, you've never heard this before. Come oh, I'm stand over here. Since this is how we do it, Kano, it's Kano. What's your name? Kilo, my friend. I'm Eddie, Eddie Kaitanifa. This is Machi Kaitanifa. We're Team Kaitanifa, and we're here to um, expose the lies and teach the truth of our God, Hopwe. The Father, the Most High Power, Hopwe. We've forgotten him. Now I'm here to wake you back up and let you know who he is. So, right here, this is called Maui's Jawbone. Maui gave fire to man, this is the fire. Maui had a jawbone, this is the jawbone. Maui had a magic ring, we that ring. And then the white man stole this Bible of us, known as the Red Skin Devil. And then he used the fire to burn everybody up and conquer the school. So what I'm doing is put it back to us. I bring it out. So we're going to get uh, Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Yeah, we're just going to give you some words of life, Michael. Is that alright? Oh, Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel. So Moses is Maui, and Israel is Ikoro. That's us, the Milky Way. And the people of Ikaro are the children of Maui, the children of Israel. Israel means he who wrestled the sun. Who wrestled the sun? Yeah. Right. So, go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We'll just get you some milk for now, Ox. Start off the basics. Deuteronomy. You know, babies, you gotta feed them milk. So, we're gonna give you milk because what we're gonna teach is your roots. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God We are what? For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God So holy means separate Just being set apart Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself Unto himself Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth Above what? Above all people that are above, upon the face of the earth So is there such thing called equality? According to God, according to the laws of the Most High. Read it again. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So who's Moses speaking to? Just the Israelites. He's not speaking to the Chinese or the Japanese or the, 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 the white man or the African man. He's talking to the Ecuador, children of Israel. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. No below. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Nah, nah, equal. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Read. The Lord did not set his love upon you. The Lord did not set his love upon you. Nor choose you. Because you were most of more in number than any people. So the most high didn't choose us because we're the most in, most in number, our nation. Read. For ye were the fewest of people. We are the what? For ye were the fewest of people. We are still the fewest of people unto this day. We are the smallest, na smallest nationality on the planet. We are called a rare species. We are getting endangered. Mm. So, the Israelites were giving law, statutes and commandments known as Kawa. Kawa And it was a contract we made with the Most High. And if we keep this contract, we will get blessed. If we don't keep the contract, we will get cursed. We get that at Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. I now get a verse 15. You just want to hear boys? What are you doing? You want to hear some words of life? I'm standing in line. Jump in. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. And it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day. This day, back in the day, when we gave fire to man, that's how long this contract's been going. Read. Then all these curses all shall these come upon thee. Then all these curses, all these what? Then all these curses, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Stop right there. Let me finish. So, 
If we don't keep the contract we did with the Most High, we're going to be cursed. I want to get you a curse. Three what? Three sixty. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse thou shall be in the what? Curse shall thou be in the city. So we're going to be cursed in the city. Who's the people in every city you see and go to at the bottom? Your people. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall thou be in the field in the workplace. First one's fired. Last one's fired. It's a curse. Greater 46. There's a list of curses. Only Israelites fulfill. 346. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon, upon me for a sign. They're going to be upon you for a sign. And for a wonder. And for a wonder make you think. And upon thy seed forever. And upon thy what? And upon thy seed forever. And upon thy what? And upon thy seed forever. So these curses are upon our seed forever. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. Yes. And with gladness of heart. Three. For the abundance of all things. Three. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Serve thy what? Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Now you're serving the white man, the enemy. Because you don't want to serve my father. It's simple. It's a simple thing. It's a deal we make. We made a contract with my father. Now we're at the bottom because nobody wants to keep this contract. So I'm now here to teach you their contract. Read. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent them? Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent the white man here? Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent them here. To destroy us. Read. In hunger and in thirst. Hunger? When you need food, you gotta go to him. Read. And in thirst. When you need water, when you need drinks, you gotta go to the enemy to get it. Read. And in nakedness. When you need clothes, you gotta go to the enemy to get it. Read. And in one of all things. One in all things are birth certificates. You gotta go to the enemy to get it. And education, you gotta go to the enemy schools to get it. Certificates of anything, you gotta go to the enemies. Even a death certificate, you gotta go to the enemy to get it. That's a curse. It's on our people. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. We had yokes of iron on their necks. Our ancestors. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. That's right. Get it on my little strip for Mac a little more. Oh, is there? Four and six. Thanks, boys. When you get older, you come back to God, okay? Come back to Hawaii. That's our father's name, Hawaii. 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 Yeah. Four and six. Four and six. Yeah. Isaiah, Isaiah, chapter four, verse six. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So that's how we're destroyed, because we lack knowledge. What knowledge? Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, Read. I will also reject thee. Read. That thou shalt not be no priest to me. So that's why we have no tongue as a priest no more. Until today, we've met one for the first time in ages. Read. Seeing thou hast forgotten the Lord thy God. Forgotten what? Seeing thou has forgotten the Lord, thy, the Lord, the Lord, thy God. That's all it is. We're breaking the law that He gave us. We've forgotten the law, then we become destroyed, lacking knowledge, the knowledge of knowing the law. Read. I will also forget thy children. You're gonna forget who? I will also forget thy children because you don't want to keep his commandments. He's gonna forget your children. So if you keep your commandments, he's gonna remember your children. That's why I keep them all. Let's get him a, 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 a law. Fridges. Numbers. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto. And bid them that bid, they may. Bid means command. It's a command. Now this is the law. And bid them that they may make them fringes in the borders in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Throughout how long? Throughout their generations. How long? Throughout their generations. Give me forever, my boy. Read. And they that put upon and and that they put upon the fringe of the borders of a ribbon of blue. Ribbon of blue. This and, represents heaven. This is heaven. And this is the laws raining down from heaven onto us. And that's all it represents. Now, why do we wear these for? Why did our ancestors wear people for? Read Numbers chapter 15, verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. And remember what? And remember all the commandments of the Lord. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to break the law of the Most High? We just look at these and we'll go, oh, that's right, we didn't break the laws. This is just a reminder to not remember who we are. And we remember all the commandments of the Most High Lord. Read it again. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, for a fringe, that ye may look upon it, and remember all the commandments of the Lord, 
And do them. And do what? And do them. And do the law. Don't just try and practically do it. And then you think not up your own heart and your own eyes. Because our eyes lead us into temptation, into stumbling blocks. Follow the way of the, the kawa will lead us to glory. After which you use to go ahoy. So when we don't keep these kawa, the Messiah calls us a home, a slut, We're cheating on him. Now I'm bidding you to come back to the Messiah, Mato, to return to the Lord, and that's it. If you want to get into the gates of heaven, you have to go through the sun. The sun is the law. He gave the sun to us, because the sun is the law. Kawa, the word ka means the light. Wa means eternal, infinite. So that's all you got to do, is keep the kawa. That's the one commandment I gave you. You want to learn another one? Let's we'll start off with that one for now. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. Same thing. Different time. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp. The commandment is a what? For the commandment is a lamp. The commandment is a lamp. So when it's dark, you're holding a lamp. And the law is light. And the law is the light. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So this is the way of life. So when you're in the dark, you've got to navigate through the dark. So the light is just to navigate you through the dark. What was Maui the god of? Navigation. Not the ocean, not on the canoes. No, it's to navigate through the dark wickedness of this world. When you're void without knowledge, you got a you got a moral compass. You don't know who you are, you got a moral compass to find your way home. When you're lost, you're going to be found. But the only way you can be is go to um, um, let's go to um, Isaiah 41. Just so you know, this is for you. Isaiah 41, verse 1. What's your type? Now to hit it, alright. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 1. Keep silence before me, O islands. Keep silence before me, O what? O islands. Yeah, the most high talking to some islands right now. Get a verse 9. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 9. Bell, Bell, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. And call thee from the chief man thereof. So he took it to the island to the end of the earth and he's calling you from the chief man thereof. And said unto thee. Said unto you. Thou art my servant. Thou art what? Thou art my servant. You're the servant of the most high God. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. That's right. Now let's go to Romans 9 and verse, verse 4. Over here. Oh, no. Romans chapter 9, verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? To who pertaineth the adoption? To who pertaineth? They mean they own this one. To who pertaineth the adoption? And the glory. And the glory. And the covenants. And the covenants. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. And the service of God. And the service of God. And the promises. And the promises. Who's our fathers? Who's our fathers? And of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ concerning, came. Concerning the flesh, Christ came. Who was over all, God blessed forever. Um, Psalms 9, 1, uh, 147 verse 19. So the scriptures are telling you that it's only for the Israelites. The 12 tribes of Ikaro. You're from Ngati So that means you could be uh, from the tribe of Manasseh. From Manaya? Are you from Manaya? Yeah, well, then you're from the tribe of Manasseh. So you're an Israelite. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Jacob is who we call Kupe. Kupe is a nationality and a rank. It's not a man. Read. 
the statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He showed his statutes and his judgments unto Egoro. He? he hath not dealt so with any nation. He has what? He hath not dealt so with any nation. He has what? He hath not dealt so with any nation. He's not dealing with any other nation, my brother. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. They don't know the judgments of the Most High. The curse, you know the curses I just read to you? Yeah. They don't know the curses. Only we go through those curses. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. This is my book, my job, bro. Mine. It's not anybody else's. Everybody else is teaching and they need to keep the commandments of the Most High. It's a lie. I go to 2 John, or 1 John 2, verse 4. First John, chapter 2, verse 4. So I know the word off by my mind. Oh, yeah. First John, chapter 2, verse 4. He that saith, I know him. He that saith, I know him. All these religions and all these other people who say they know my father. Read. And keepeth not his commandments. And they don't even got their pee pee on. Read. Is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. They're all liars. Read. And the truth is not in him. The truth's not in them. Right, uh, truth, law. Uh, they say Christ is the truth, and they're weak. Let's go see what the truth is. Law is the truth. Psalms. Psalms 12. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you the truth right now. What's the truth? Read. Psalms chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Most high righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. He's always going to be right. Read. And thy law is the truth. And thy what's the truth? And thy law is the truth. And thy what's the truth? And thy law is the truth. So that's the truth. Is the law. When you see them keeping the law of the Most High, they're going to be telling you the truth. That's right. And if they say they know the Father, and they don't even keep the law, they are liars. That's and right. the truth is not in them. So that's what we do, Martin. Let's just tell the truth. Yeah, so, um, you want to know what we got to do? Let's go to 14 verse 21. 14? <coughs> yeah, Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14, 21. Because even, um, you know, we need all men to stand here with us. Every Sabbath day, this is the Sabbath day today, we're keeping the holy by coming out here and giving you the word. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 20. 21. Verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. Prepare what? Prepare slaughter for his children. So that's what we're here to do. To prepare slaughter. We've got to get you his right, get your mind right, so we can slaughter these people with the word. Read. For the iniquity of their fathers. For the shit their fathers done to our forefathers. Read. That they do not rise. So they don't rise anymore. Nor possess the land. Read. Nor fill the face of the world with cities. So that's why we gotta stop these people. We gotta rise ourselves up first, prepare our prepare slaughter up on the people. Okay? Face it. Let's go to Exodus 15 and 3. They gotta know about our father, our God. They think he's about hugs and kisses. Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. He's a man of hugs and kisses. The Lord is a man of war. He's a man of what? The Lord is a man of war. Read. The Lord is his name. A wild is his name. He's a man of war. So that's what you're going to hey, You know, dealing with a man of war, he's, he's wanting us to rule. He's wanting us to overthrow. He's wanting us to rebel. He's wanting us to stand up against the oppressors and say, no, that's wrong. That's right. So we'll get um, Isaiah 14 verse 1. We'll tell, we'll tell Ox about heaven and about the kingdom, about what's going to happen in the future. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And put us in our own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And the strangers, the other nations, they're going to be joined with us. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of they're Jacob. Gonna, they're going to come and cleave to you. Why? Because you're the man of God, you're God's son. Read. And the people shall take them, and you shall take them, and bring them to their and place. Put them in their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them, in the land of the Lord, for servants and handmaids. For what? 
for servants and handmaids. So that's what they're going to be to us in the future. In the kingdom, they're going to be our servants and handmaids. What's that called? Slaves. That's all we're going to get. They're going to repay what their forefathers done unto us. Eh? Like if I stole something off you, 70 years later, I'm still going to get charged for their crime. Eh? Same thing with these people. They've been inherited the lies, the rape, and the murder that their fathers have done unto us. Understand? So they're going to get the gift back. It's called the big payback. The Most High is a just God. Uh, you reap what you sow. So they've sowed wickedness, wickedness and evil upon us. So they're going to get judged. Just like how we smashed up Tamatera. We're going to do it again. How we conquered Egypt. We're going to do it again. We're going to throw down Babylon this time. Read. And they shall take them captives. Whose captives they were. You were their captives, eh? Dream. And they shall rule over their oppressors. What are we going to do? And they shall rule over their oppressors. And we're going to rule over our oppressors. That's what God's got promised for, the, for you, for your children, and for your seed, if we come back to His law. Easy, eh? Simple. That is simple. They, they just made the laws hard to comprehend when it's easy. It's easy to love my brother, it's easy to hate my enemy, it's easy to chop on my people. It's easy to grow a beard. It's easy to set up a kingdom. It's easy to be loyal. It's easy. So that's what we are looking for. But we're looking for the mighty men. If you ever want to come and stand in line and come and stand, stand in camp with us, come. Oh, and my other mind. We're a family. We're a happy. This is the happy of Fight 24. And we're, we're here to help every other happy to fish up to Eco. Get what's ours back and then rule over our business. Right. Of course you are. Is he with the most high? Hey. Get the um, they have a zeal with the most high. Zeal with God. Which is like zeal, not a dream. Yeah. Judah, chapter 9, verse 4. Romans, chapter 10, verse 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. So you got a zeal? Oh God, then you have a belief, you have a zeal. Read. But not according to knowledge. But not according to knowledge. That's all it is. Now you gotta know who you, who you worship. Who was the creator? Hey, you gotta ask yourself that question. Who was this and who was that? So to pr prove our God true, we go through the curses. And every curse that happens, he wasn't lying. So we'll get you uh Psalms 82 verse 6. So you got to know your status, my boy. You're not just a mere mortal walking around this earth. There's some respect that you got that no one gives to you. Psalms 82 verse 6. I have said, Ye are gods. What else? What, what's the matter? Ye are gods. Ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. All of you, all of us Māori, are the children of the Most High. But you shall die like men, but and fall like one like of the men. princes. And fall like one of the princes, like, no, we're going to die anyway. Yeah. But we're the gods. We'll keep this earth tongue up anyway. Arise, O God. He said, Arise, O God. Judge the earth. Judge the earth now. For thou shalt inherit all nations. That's what we are here to do, judge the earth. For the wicked the inventions they've done to our people. We are here to judge the earth. Mm. And we have we we already rise, me and my brothers already rise. We're out here to judge the earth and then raise you up. Let you know who you are. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So if we rise up and judge the earth, we shall inherit all nations. We shall overthrow Babylon. We shall rule over our oppressors. That's the plan. That's the kingdom. That's the kingdom of our God who wants us in power. He wants your kids 
coming out the ticket and being privileged. Not coming out the ticket and the struggle is real. Right. My privilege is everywhere, but not our privilege. God said, we the gods. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Read. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given to what? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So who rules the earth today? The white man rules the earth. So the Bible calls him the wicked. <laughs> the white man rules the earth and he's considered the wicked in the Bible. So we're going to get uh, Romans 9 verse 13. So you know how the Most High feels about this red hairy beast? Because this is a new doctrine, a new song that's going to be sung in the last days. Romans 9 13. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. As it is written. It's written in the Bible, as it is written. Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved. And Esau have I hated. And who? And Esau have I hated. And who? And Esau have I hated. God hates this fellow named Esau. Who's Esau? Go to uh, Revelation, uh, Genesis 25, verse 25. I'm going to tell him who the devil of our Bible is. <laughs> You know, uh, I'm Maui myself, if you know Maui, right? Yeah, he's, this is me, I'm Maui. Everything you know about Maui, I got the skills. Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. I'm cheeky, I'm cunning, I'm wise, I'm smart, I'm, like, you know, I'm a little cunt. But well, fuck, I'll tell you the truth. And yeah. the first came out red, all over, like a hairy garment. Well, the first baby, he came out red, all over like a hairy garment, so he's red and hairy. Read. And they called his name Esau. And they called his name what? And they called his name Esau. So that's our twin brother Jacob. Is and right? after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold of on Esau's heel. Right, we're going to trip this nigga up on his heel, read. And his name was called Jacob. Jacob. So that's our twin brother. The red skin devil is our twin brother. <laughs> and we've been fighting since the womb. And then Esau came out first and then we came out second. So go up to um, 23. Genesis chapter 25, verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Two nations are in her womb. Right, read. And two men of people shall be separated from thy belly. Two men of people mean two different types of species. Read. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. One people shall be stronger than the other people. Read. And the elder shall serve the younger. The what? And the elder shall serve the younger. The what? And the elder sh shall serve the younger. So that's prophecy in law. The elder must serve the younger. So who comes out first, read? And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. So the white man's the elder. And they called his name Esau. And they called his name what? And he called his name Esau. Read? And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. That's us coming out second. And his name was called Jacob. We take it quickly. Now go to um, Romans. Uh, I'll never get his revelations to and nine. Because we want to know the devil. He always put an imaginary friend in our face. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works. So the most high nature works. And tribulation. And your tribulations. And poverty. And your poverty. But thou art rich. But you're rich in spirit. <laughs> because you got all the promises coming to you, read. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. He knows the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. And are not. And are what? And are not. And are what? And are not. They're not the Jews. Read. But are the synagogue of Satan. But are they what? But are the synagogue of Satan. That's who the Jews are. The synagogue of Satan. They say they are Jews, but they're Jewish. Ish means to pretend to be something you're not. Pretend you're not holy ish. Now go to three. Go to... Um, Chapter 3, verse 9. So that's the uh, Jewish, they're known as Satan. Esau is the red skinned devil man, he's known as Esau, he's the most hated man in the Bible. The, bled, the, the red bloody man. Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. Three. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. So he's going to go make these people. The most high did it. He's going to go make them be the synagogue of Satan. Three. Which say they are Jews. And they say they are white art. And are not. And they're not. But do lie. They do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. They're going to come here one day and worship at our feet. And to know that I have loved you. To 
Most High loves us only. Go to Joel 227. Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Say it all. And you shall know that I am the Lord in the midst of Ikorol. Say the Lord to me in the midst of Ikorol, that means in the middle of you. And that I am the Lord, your God. Say he's the Lord, your God. And none else. And what? And none else. And what? And none else. And what? And none else. And none else. Read it again from the start. And you shall know that I am in the and you shall know that I am in the midst of Ikaron, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. The basics. He's our God, none else. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's not the God of Esau, he's not the God of the Jewish, he's not the God of Hamite, he's not the God of Japheth, he's the God of us. This is ours coming back. Let's go to um, uh, Isaiah. Chapter 41, verses 20, uh, 50. So I don't rehearse or nothing. I just go off the spirit. Whatever it comes. Chapter. Whatever. Uh, chapter 41, verse 15. Isaiah <laughs> chapter 41, verse 15. Behold, Behold this, my mother. I will make thee a new sharp fishing instrument having teeth. So the Most High is going to make us a new sharp fishing instrument having teeth. What do you think that is? Go to Judges 15 verse 15. Judges chapter 15 verse 15. And he found a new jawbone. A new what? And he found a new jawbone. A new what? And he found a new jawbone. Of a what? Of an ass. Of an evil. And put forth his hand. And took it. And threw a thousand men therewith. So our two put out the jawbone. And then the most high city is going to give us a new jawbone. And that's the Bible. Go to um, Isaiah 28 verse 11. And we're at the bottom because nobody wants to keep the God, uh, the laws of the Hawaii. That's why we're at the bottom. We wouldn't buy or sell on the Sabbath day if we knew that there was the law. And the economy will fall. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 11. For with stammering lips. So with stammering lips, my friend. And another tongue. And another tongue, I'm speaking English. Will he speak to the people? I'm going to speak to you in English, my dear. I'm not coming at you with a Tereo or doctrine or Hebrew doctrine or Yiddish or these other languages. I want to speak straight, straight up English. That's why it's written in English. And so his children today, who don't know how to speak any other language but street, I can understand my father's word speaking to me and, and what, I, what I know. So this is the jawbone he's given unto us. The new jawbone. Read um, Isaiah... Ah, uh, now we're going to go straight to, um, here's the second Ezra, 656. And we're just going to finish off there. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 56. B. And for the other people. The other people? Well, all these other people who ain't Israel, who ain't Ikaro, who ain't from the children of Maui, or from the children of Kupi, or from the children of Aotearoa. Read. And for the other people which also come of Adam. They also come from Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They are what? That they are nothing. They are nothing to us. But be like unto Spiru. And have likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Where you get a drop of, drop of water dropping out of here, you don't care about it. That's how it makes sure feel about the other people. Read. And now, O oh Lord. And now, O oh Lord. Behold, behold, these heathens, these damn heathens, which have ever been reputed as nothing, they're nothing to us when we rise up and we were together, have we, begun to be lords over us, they're lords over us now, and to devour us, and they're devouring our mother, read, but we thy people, we thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, we are the firstborn, thy only begotten, we are the only begotten son of and thy fervent lover, and we're his wife, 
Uh, give it into their hands. We give it into their hands. If the world now be made for our sakes. This world was made for our sakes. Why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? I, I'm going to ask you this question, Martel. Why do we not possess an inheritance with this world? Oh, There's only one reason I'll get it to you, Deuteronomy. This is 28 verse 15. I told you this already up on top. There's only one solution, one thing we do. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Oh, this is how I am after this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Read, but it shall come to pass. And it's going to happen. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You don't want to listen to my father. Read. To observe to do all his commandments. To observe to do all his commandments. And his statutes. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day. That all these curses all shall these come words. upon thee. That all these curses shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city. The top right there. That all these curses. That's a... That all these curses. Shall come upon shall thee. Come upon thee. And overtake them. So that's the reason. Oh, the, the reason why we're at the bottom, why they labor us, is because we don't keep the co op. That's it. So I'm telling you to go back to the co op. Basic songs? Does it sound easy peasy? Yes. 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 Uh, Second Nations chapter 13. Second Nations chapter 13, verse 25. This is the meaning of the vision. Whereas thou sawest a man coming up from the midst of the sea. Upon thy way up. Whereas thou sawest a man coming up from the midst of the sea. Say. These people on the island at the end of the earth from the chief man thereof, and and one of them is going to be the chosen one. Go to Isaiah um, 41, verse 25. This is, this is meat I'm giving you now. This is something that cannot be swallowed and chewed on. Read. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 25. I have raised up one from the north. He has raised up what? I have raised up one from the north. He's raised up one from the north. And he shall come. And he's going to come. From the rising of the sun shall he call upon my name. And he shall come upon princes as upon water. And there's a potter treasure clay. And there's a potter treasure clay. Now go to uh, 2 Genesis 13. 25. Because I... Who is that guy? Hey, Martin. Not quick. 13. 13. 13. 14, verse 25. 13. 13. Verse 25. This is the meaning of the vision. Whereas thou sawest a man coming up from the midst of the sea. So does this follow coming from the island to the end of the earth? Of the of the island, coming from the moment. The same as he whom God the highest has kept the great seat. So he's been kept quiet. Read. Which by his own self. By his own self. Shall deliver his creature. I'm going to deliver the creature of the most high's chosen children. How? By giving them the power. Read. And he shall order them that are left behind. Read. And whereas thou sawest that out of his mouth there came as a blast of wind and fire and storm. So everything that this fellow can speak is true. And it can cut you to your soul. It can tell you nothing but the truth. Go to 45, or 40. Second Ezra, chapter 13, verse 4. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners. Those are the what? Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners. That's the northern kingdom. He has raised one up from the northern kingdom. Read. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osea the king, whom Salamansa, the king of Assyria, led away captive. And he carried them over the waters. And so came Read. they into another land. Read, keep reading. But they took counsel among themselves. And when we were before we came here, we were taking counsel among ourselves. Read. That they would leave the multitude of the heathens. They will leave all these heathens. And, and go. 
and go forth into a further country. We're going forth to a further country. Where never mankind dwelt. Where what? Where never mankind dwelt. Where what? Where never mankind dwelt. Where never mankind dwelt. Where's that? An island at the end of the earth where the sun rises first and the chief man thereof. Where never mankind dwelt. Where's that place? When we got here, was they been here? <laughs> this is the island we never made kind of. Right? That they might keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. So this is the reason why we came here, is to keep the koa. That we never kept in Hawaii. So we come here to keep the koa and we've forgotten now. We used to keep it, everything was heavy. But then we stopped keeping it, we started fighting each other, we broke the law. And then they brought the enemies over. So, um, my time's up, Matua. We've got to get on the road. Thank you for listening, Matua. Straight up, this is good. I like, I like sharing Kai with everybody. I love breaking the bread. Uh, the real name of this book is called a Makaya. Makaya means bread. Uh, bread, and it means the bread for the gods. So, Kai, Kai, the word Kai, Ka is the light, and I am the E. So, we need food to give our E light. So, this is a Makaya to give your mind light. It's, it's good wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And we have to treat our mind like a woman. That's why it's called a healing art. Treat her like a woman. Treat her nurture her with right knowledge. And the right knowledge is the law. Thank you for letting me have a listen. Ah, you're welcome, brother. Um, we're on YouTube. You can find us on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kaitani Pa TV. If you ever want to just kick back and listen to some YouTube. Okay. But, but we're called Kaitani Pa TV. Um, you can catch us on Facebook. Uh, Machi Kaitani Pa, Odi Kaitani Pa, just write Kaitani Pa, and one of my boys will be yeah, good. Contact, but we're here every Saturday. Shalom. Matua. I don't know So, with all that, see that? So with all that, we want to give all honors and glory to the Most High Power, Yahweh, Ha, Yahweh. All goods. Team Kaitani for.